In the Bible, there are so many stories about mothers. Some of the most famous mothers in the Bible are Eve, Sarah, Rachel, and Mary, the mother of Jesus. Each of these women had amazing trials and are amazing examples of what a mother is. I wanted to take a little look at what a mother is in honor of Mother's Day. It can be hard to put what a mother is into words, but I once saw something that really made me think. A while back, I read that in order to see if someone is worthy of you, they need to pass the 1 Corinthians 13 test. This is where you exchange the word love for whomever it may be. For example, Chad is patient, Chad is kind, etc. However, as much as people always use these verses to refer to romantic love, I always remember my mom when reading these verses. I mean, think about it. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 reads, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Looking at these verses deeper, I see what a mother is. A mother is patient. As kids, we aren't exactly the easiest to deal with. Therefore, she develops the patience to handle any situation. A mother is kind. She takes care of you, loves you, and even sacrifices many things just to see you smile. A mother is not envious. She is not envious of what other mothers have. They love their kids no matter what, and even when we fail, they just want the best for us. A mother does not boast. That is not to say that she won't talk you up, but she doesn't do it to show how much better you are than anyone. She talks you up because she loves you and is proud of you. A mother is not proud. She knows when she is wrong and is willing to admit when she has done wrong. A mother does not dishonor others. She doesn't tell you what to do to have authority over you. Your mother is just trying to help you be the best you can be. A mother is not self-seeking. When a mother gives birth, her world shifts to being all about you. She is willing to do anything for you. A mother is not easily angered. Now, this can be a hard one for almost anyone, but that's why mothers develop a strong sense of patience. A mother keeps no records of wrongs. It is true, sometimes we do things that might hurt our mothers, but she doesn't hold that against you. She forgives you because of the deep love she has for you. A mother does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. No one likes being lied to, especially not your mother. Even if you did something wrong, she wants to know the truth. She'll never want anything bad to happen to you and will help you in any way that she can. A mother always protects. Why do you think mothers are referred to as mama bears? If anyone or anything harms their child, they better watch out because she will come for you. A mother always trusts. She trusts you and trusts that everything in your life will go according to God's plan. A mother always hopes. There are times when we fall short of God's grace, where we may stray from the path. A mother will fervently pray for you and hope that God will lead you out of the storm. A mother perseveres. Even in her own life, she may be going through some hard times. However, she will keep fighting for the sake of her children. A mother's love never fails. Her love is always there and will never go away. As I mentioned, I can't help but think of my own mother when I read this because that's how I see my mother. My mom is strong, courageous, loving, kind, and all around just one of the most amazing people I know. I know that I can always count on her to be there for me no matter what. She may not be perfect and may have her shortcomings, but she's still an amazing mother. Growing up, I remember always being told how much she loved me and how much God loves me. My mother wanted to instill the beginnings of faith in me. She taught my siblings and me about the Bible and about how Jesus gave his life for us. My mom was fulfilling her duty as a mother. In Proverbs 22, 6, it says, direct your children on the right path, and when they are older, they will not leave it. She was teaching us how to be the best that we could be, and when the time came, she let us go to make our own decisions. Her faith did not waver. She knew that we would discover the love of Jesus on our own, and all of us have. I can't thank my mother enough for setting me on the right path and for always being an example to us. As a family, we have suffered a lot, and I can tell you that it was not easy. However, even in the hardest times of her life, 
My mother kept her eyes on God, His love, and His mercies. I remember her always telling me the same verse anytime things were difficult. Lamentations 3, 22 through 25 says, Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The Lord is good to those who wait for Him, to the soul who seeks Him. To this day, I still remember that verse because she always referred to it. It is because of that constant reminder that today my faith has grown more than it ever has. I know that in difficult times, things will be okay. It was all thanks to what my mother taught me as a little girl. Proverbs 31, 26 to 27 says, When she speaks, her words are wise. She provides instructions with kindness. She carefully watches everything in her household and suffers nothing from laziness. In the same way that I love my mother, I'm sure you love your mother as well. We all think our mother is the best and that's okay. We all have a bias towards our own mother because she is our mother. Therefore, I remind you to always be thankful for your mom. She is one of the reasons you are who you are. I know that if it wasn't for my mom, I would be a completely different person. She is an amazing person and I could not have gotten here without her. So thanks mom for always being there for me, for loving me the way that you do and for never pretending to be anything but yourself. I love you so much. Happy Mother's Day. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to check out my blog, which you will find a link to it in the description below. I hope you all have a blessed day. Before I go, I will leave you with this. In Numbers 6, 24 through 26, it says, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.